Thanks for logging on to WCBI.com. I'm meteorologist Jacob Dickey. We are dealing with the heat. It feels like fire outside. In fact, those heat index values all across the country are in the upper 90s and triple digits, at least east of the Rockies, feeling like the hundreds from Mississippi up into Illinois, even into the Great Lakes region. And that heat is marching on east. The east coast will be burning up here in the next couple of days. Now, as far as for our tonight, we will see those chances for showers and thunderstorms continue. Those temperatures falling into the low 80s by 11 p.m. And I think by morning, we will get rid of any of those showers and storms. Still, though, looking at those low 70s overnight tonight, we'll put it at uh, 73 area wide with an isolated storm lasting late, mild and muggy, much the same what we expect this time of year. Here's those area lows. We are down to 73 tonight in Columbus, 74 West Point, Pontotoc, 75. We'll see 73 in Louisville and 73 in Winona. Then on Sunday, hot. How about that? Looking at those temperatures in the 90s by lunchtime, chances for scattered afternoon showers and storms. And again, the best chance looks to be in West Alabama and the Golden Triangle. But if you're up by Tupelo, we still can see showers and thunderstorms up there. You'll see those temperatures also back in the 90s here. We'll put the high in West Alabama. Vernon, 92, 91 in Reform. We'll get to 91 in Fayette, 92 in Hamilton. Down into the Tupelo region then, we'll see 92 there. 93 in Avery, 93 Aberdeen, Water Valley, and Bruce Calvin City all checking in at 90. And then I think the Golden Triangle really has the highest chance for showers and thunderstorms. 93 Columbus and Louisville, 92 Eupora, 94 in Grenada, and Carrollton for our Sunday. Now we are staying in the heat. Part of that is because we've got this pressure cooker high as it sits off to our east there, pushing lots of air down to the surface. Think of higher pressure, higher heat. And that is what is making it sweltering in the eastern half of the United States. We hope to get a little relief thanks to a meandering coastal low. As that does so, that will push some more moisture in. Any moisture and showers we can get will provide a quick bit of relief on Sunday and on Monday. But it really meanders along the coast, not moving much at all. Seeing some showers and thunderstorms scattered at best through the day Monday and really through the week here. Quick check on our 4th of July update here. Still thinking low 90s. A few scattered storms can be expected more dry than not. I'm thinking the fireworks look okay. Still think we may have a few delays in the area. And then here's your seven-day forecast. I'm just kidding. The real seven-day forecast here, seeing those temperatures in the low 90s, that might have been fairly accurate compared to what we've got here. Expect the heat index values in the triple digits all the way through the weekend.